welcome back to Vlatflix. Well, today we're going to make one of the most requested cocktails from you guys. And also great news that today we have a sponsor, Skillshare. So traditionally we do really cool giveaways when we have a budget. And I know you guys want to mix more cocktails at home, including today's mojito. So we're going to give away two shakers, also two strainers, two spoons, and two jiggers. <laughs> well, and I'm going to engrave your name or Vladflix if you want to sell it on eBay for like 100 grand. And if you would like to be part of this giveaway, all you need to do just be subscribed to my channel. And this time, let me know what was the very last cocktail you made before watching this video. If it's not popular, just list all the ingredients. Let's go. Mojito is really simple combination of mint, sugar, rum, and soda. So combined together makes a truly incredible, refreshing, and delicious cocktail. There is definitely a few different ways to make it. So in this video, I'll show you some variations and you let me know which way you like to make and drink your mojito. For our home version, I'm going to model half of a lime right in a glass. So cut it in four pieces, separately from stem since it's really bitter. Uh, well, amount varies and it goes from six to 12. I prefer stronger mint flavors, so I put around 10. And I keep one or two pretty sprigs for a garnish. Now we need to add sweetener and in Cuba they don't use simple syrup. The Marara sugar is a lot more common to use in mojita. Well, but I don't think you have it in your kitchen right now. So we're going to use regular sugar. It's a highball and should be served in a tall glass. But remember at home we use whatever we have. So mason jar it is. Put limes inside, one full tablespoon of sugar. If you still didn't get solid muddler like mine, no problem. Bring the rolling pin from the kitchen. We're going to add mint later but right now you need to press hard to squeeze juice from the lime but not for too long so you don't want too much oils from skin since it will make your mojito extra bitter i put all leaves in one hand and slept to wake them up but it's not a mistake to model with mint just need to do it gently so again to prevent extra bitterness in your mojito the most popular roms to use in mojito usually an aged white rom such as bacardi but uh, captain morgan was like one dollar cheaper so easy choice to make let's start with two ounces and see how it goes crushed ice is really popular to use in mojito but in cuba they actually use cubed ice since it won't melt fast and they claim it tastes better over time if you use cubes according to original recipe you're supposed to fill up all the way to the top with club soda but i still prefer to have mojito strong and refreshing so i usually add just a couple of ounces that's totally my preference stir it with a spoon and add a few more cubes of ice on top now let's take a few mint sprigs that we separated in the beginning also, smack it a few times to release aromatics and place it right on top of the drink. Still saving turtles and avoiding hateful comments one metal throw at a time. Well, home version mojito is ready. Hit the like button if you wish this cocktail magically appeared in your hands right now. I'm going to make pro version with crushed ice, but that's optional. Let's put it on the side for now. All magic happens on my cutting board. <laughs> Roll lime a few times so it will juice easier. Cut fresh lime in half, but don't cut it in small pieces this time. I'm going to use freshest organic mint that I was growing on my backyard just for this video. Keep the prettiest part for garnish. And just like last time, separate from stem six to 12 leaves. This time I will use the Marara sugar. So let's make a syrup really quick. I'm sure you figured it's just hot water and sugar equal parts. You can make your own sparkling water. It's a great way to add extra carbonation or in use it for example with cucumber flavor and this sound is so satisfying <laughs> As I mentioned, this is not muddled version, so we need to squeeze half of a lime and get about three quarters ounces of juice. Add half an ounce of Demerara syrup, smack mint a few times to wake it up. I will use proper Cuban rum that made in Puerto Rico. This rum is a lot more expensive than Bacardi, but it's probably my favorite rum to use in mojito. Well, you guys let me know what kind of rum do you use and if you also use aged one. Add crushed ice and stir it for a few seconds with a bar spoon. Pour regular or flavored club soda on top. Crushed ice melts faster, so you need a lot of it. For garnish, you can use lime wheel and mint. I prefer to go just with mint sprig. So slap it a few times to release aromatics and stick it to the crushed ice. Would love to hear what version do you prefer to make and drink, number one or number two. And let me know what else do you do differently in the classic version of mojito. You also can make almost any flavors of mojito. Simple way is just to add your favorite flavored syrup instead of sugar, strawberry, blueberry, you name it. But I like to make different flavor with fresh fruits. My favorite would be mango, watermelon, and cucumber. Add a few pieces in the beginning and model it, then do all the same steps as traditional mojito. Use a couple of straws since fruits might stack in it and have a happy mojito pool days. <laughs> and if you're not new to mojito game, let me know what was your most unusual flavor you used in the mojito. Let's go. Our expert version is the most complicated to make, but by far the most exciting out of all mojitos that we mixed today. So, 
we're going to do a frozen spherification. And if you repeat all next steps, it will make you feel like a real chef or Walter White. Spherification is a process that uses sodium alginate and calcium lactate to form squishy spheres out of liquid with a similar texture to caviar. Chefs using it for molecular gastronomy. You can also see it in some advanced mixology bars and probably tomorrow in your kitchen, right? I put all ingredients together and this time gently pressed mint with muddler. Pour two ounces of light rum. This time we add in soda right away, so also we need two ounces. Next I'm going to add calcium lactate. Proper measurement is 2% of the liquid's weight. So for this amount I will need only one gram, it will be half of a tablespoon. Stir it for a few seconds until it completely dissolved. I'm gonna use small happy face ice molds for a faster freezing. And this is also a perfect shape since you can put full medium sized mint leaf inside. Make sure they lay on the bottom and not sticking out, then put it in the freezer for one hour. Next I'm going to make an alginate bath. Well, I don't have a proper glass bowl, so I will be using a large mixing glass. It's important to use 5 grams of sodium alginate on 1 liter of water. So I will be using one bag, which is 2 grams and half liter of water. And very important to use filtered water without calcium. You're probably not gonna make it work with tap water. Blend it until powder is dissolved and you will notice that it became a heavier, thicker texture. When we finish, we also need to put it aside for one hour. But, well, for you it will be less than a minute. It's been a quick hour, so back to our mojito and we will need to fill up second glass with water. I also transferred alginate bath in a smaller glass, which I should have done right away, and warmed it up in a microwave for like 45 seconds. Carefully take out mojito from ice mold and put it in a bath for 3 minutes. You can put two right away, just make sure they don't stick together. Gently stir it and you can see the reaction starts happening almost right away. Mojito will become like a caviar, so actual liquid is trapped inside, which is pretty cool. Now I put it in a clean water and take it out pretty much right away. Now you can drink it it or actually eat it. Don't be scared of the next shot, that's not a jellyfish monster, that's a close-up of our unique and delicious mojito. Since it was frozen, there is no carbonation in it and one kind of mojito without bubbles, right? So we're going to add some really quick. Pour two ounces of water or rum inside siphon, put mojito inside, insert one CO2 and keep in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Now you have a proper carbonated mojito with bubbles. Thank you guys for watching, massive thank you to all of you who commented in the previous video. So my apron winner is Jake Davis. Please send your shipping in for, never be afraid to make something new and I'll definitely see you in the next video.